Hi there, this is Gregor for Personas, and today I want to tell you about some of the production tools that we have available to us in Studio One 5. As you can see, I have a variety of external synthesizers behind me, and I can finally integrate them seamlessly into my setup thanks to Studio One 5. This makes them as easy to use as virtual instruments. That used to be just a pipe dream for me, but the days where I had to think in two tracks, one for sequencing and one for recording, are finally over. Let's take a look. We've made this possible by introducing a brand new channel type in Studio One, the AUX channel. These AUX channels map audio inputs you've added in the song's audio I.O. setup directly to external MIDI instruments, such as hardware synthesizers and workstations, without the need for an extra track. We can set up the AUX input for each of our MIDI devices in the external devices section located on the left of the console. For added convenience, External instruments can now also be accessed directly from the browser, so that you can add them to any of your songs with just one single drag and drop. See how this recalled both the instrument track as well as the connected aux channel? Using your external hardware has never felt more intuitive. To demonstrate, I've prepared a baseline on my Pro 2 synthesizer. So now that we have a cool baseline, let me add a beat to that. Studio One's unique bi-directional par pattern workflow really is a game changer here. To start, I record a very basic drum part using Adam, a Swiss army knife pad controller. From here, I can turn this beat into a much more grooving pattern with just a couple of clicks. For example, by decreasing the step amount on just one of my drum elements. Or by changing trigger probabilities and repeats where I see fit. Awesome! Next, I want to add another element to this beat. I've loaded up our ultra-realistic sample player instrument Presence XT, which takes full advantage of another major new feature in Studio One 5, key switch articulations, which were the number one most requested feature on answers.personas.com. You can access them from the newly added key switches automation lane in the musical editor. Now we can go ahead and add key switches to our part, giving us huge amounts of instant sonic variation. Notes assigned as key switches are highlighted in red on the piano view as well. Yeah, you can clearly hear how much expressiveness is added through these articulations. Presence XT, as well as other third-party VST instruments supporting key switches, such as the virtual basses from UJAM, don't require key switch mappings. They show up automatically. However, should you need to map key switches manually, that's incredibly easy to do also. Simply click on the wrench icon in the key switch lane to assign and save your mappings. Okay, I really like where this is going already, but now I'd love to hear what this would sound like with some added vocals. Fortunately, I know a guy who sings like an angel. My good friend and colleague, Joe Gilder. Hey Joe, can you help me out? I'm uploading my song to our workspace in Persona Sphere. Hey, Joe here. Gregor just sent me this groove via Persona Sphere. I'm going to pull it down and open it in Studio One. I really dig this groove so far. I've got a couple ideas for some vocals. Let's record a few. Uh... Since Melodyne Essential is integrated into Studio One, let me tighten up the tuning of those two parts. Sweet. Here's an idea. That first part would be really cool as a synth. 
First, I'll use drag and drop to create an instrument track loaded up with a cool synth sound. Since I've already used Melodyne on this vocal track, I can drag the tuned vocal onto the instrument, and Studio One converts the vocal into MIDI notes. Love it. I'm ready to render and send these tracks back to Gregor and see what he does with them. All I need to do is export these stems directly to our workspace in Presona Sphere. I can also upload a quick reference mix down for Gregor to listen to, all without leaving Studio One. Okay, back to you, Gregor. Awesome, Joe. Thanks so much. This is exactly what the track needed. Let me just go ahead and duplicate the boss that we've got. Great, so now we have a basic arrangement structure, but so far that's just a loop that's repeating over and over. Let's break this repetition by taking advantage of Studio One's chord track, which is an incredible tool to reharmonize any amount of tracks in our song. This is a completely non-destructive process, so any changes I'm making here can be reverted at any time. To start, all I need to do is activate the chord track and set chord follow for all tracks I'd like to transpose. In this case, there would be every track except the drums. Now I just draw in my chord sections with the paint tool, and voila! As soon as I double click a section and select my desired chord, all notes are immediately transposed. Notice how brilliantly this works, not just on virtual instruments, but also on audio tracks, such as Joe's vocals. Let's do a quick A-B comparison. Studio One has the best chord track implementation I've ever seen, without a doubt. As you can see, Studio One 5 offers the best platform for production, recording, and when combined with Persona Sphere, a whole new way to collaborate. Visit studio1.personas.com to find out more.